What's up? What's up? What's going on, world? What is up? It's your girl, Isis Love. I know it's kind of late right now, uh, but I'm super excited to be giving this live right now. You know, something just popped up in my mind, and you know, spirit was like, you gotta go live with this. Like, you really gotta go live with this. I just got off an awesome, awesome, awesome call with my mentor, and uh, he fired me up, so I'm super excited to uh, be doing this live real quick and uh, sharing this message with you guys. Peace, 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 peace. All right, you guys, so I'm going to just jump straight into it. I'm going to jump straight into it today. Um, what we're going to be speaking about today is slavery, right? But we're talking about slavery of the mind, right? We're talking about slavery of the mind. Because the only person that's enslaving us is us. Right? The only person that is enslaving us is us. Our mind is what's in shackles. Right? By our limited beliefs in things. Of how we see things. Right? We, we keep ourselves in slavery with our beliefs. And our thoughts and our actions, right? For example, right now, if you're feeling kind of like sad, right? You're feeling sad, you're feeling down. Most of the times, it's because you're not living in the now moment. Not even most of the times, all the time, right? When you're not living in the present moment, like right here, right now, me and you, right? That means that you're thinking about the past or the future but the now moment is the only moment so we stress ourselves out we enslave our mind by thinking about stuff that happened in the past oh my gosh that happened to me when I was little that happened to me when I was two years ago that's why I can't do this now well the relationship that I was in two weeks ago da 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 like we just stay in the past we stress ourselves out. We enslave ourselves by thinking about something that happened in the past when we should be focusing on the now. Because the now is the only moment that you can attest for, right? This now moment is the only moment that you can attest for right now, right here, right? Not even tomorrow. You can't attest for tomorrow because it's tomorrow, right? Even if you make a plan and you're going to be like, well, tomorrow I'm going to go grocery shopping. Well, when tomorrow happens, it's still in the now moment, right? So the moment that we can get out of the past and get out of the so-called future, we're going to focus on the now because you can't change anything but only right now, right? What you did yesterday don't count. So little do we know or not, we are our own slaves. I mean, really think about it, you guys. I want y'all to really think about this. I'm going to break it down from another level, right? We rely on outside, outside entities to govern our life. We allow presidents and officers and different people to govern our lives to tell us when we can and when we cannot do something right i get a lot of people that come up to me and they're like isis isis you know i want to live free like you like i i, I literally want to live free like you and i'm like well go ahead w what is stopping you you guys freedom is a mindset Right? Freedom is a mindset. To live free is up to you. It's a switch of the mind. Right? It's up to you. No piece of paper. No moving out of the states. None of that is going to make you free. Right? So slavery is in the mind. Right? You have to be the determining factor on when you're going to claim your freedom back. It's up to you to claim your freedom, right? And so the moment 
we can stop waiting on some outside savior, the moment we can stop waiting from some God that's going to come down from the sky. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. But the, the moment we can stop waiting for some so-called God to come out of the sky and rescue us, you keep waiting on some God to come out of the sky and rescue you. You're going to be waiting for a long time, right? You got to save yourself. You have to save yourself. There's no invisible force coming down here to save you, right? We're always looking for a savior. We're always looking for somebody to come save us. But you are the key to your freedom. Only you can save you. You are the ones that are enslaving yourselves. Not no white man. Not no Trump. We like to always blame people. Well, I would be successful, but Trump did this. I would be successful, but the white man did this. I would be successful, but the cops keep beating us. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Okay? It starts with you in this now moment, right? We be like, well, I'm going to become financial free one day. I'm going to become financial free soon. One day I'm going to become financially free. But the now moment is the only moment. So what are you waiting for? If you keep waiting to be successful, if you keep waiting, to find love, if you keep waiting to become a vegan, if you keep waiting to travel to, I don't know, Africa, you're going to keep waiting. That's all it's going to be is you just waiting and waiting. Right now is the only moment that we can attest for. Right now. Right? Take your power back. You guys, we have been banned boozled to think that we are not powerful we have been bamboozled what piece of watermelon oh you all back there looking at the watermelon <laughs> but yeah we have been bamboozled you guys to think that we are not free look if we all stood up as a community as a whole you guys we can eradicate this government if we came together as a whole. Because the problem is, the reason why we're being treated like quote-unquote slaves from the government is because we have gave our freedom up. Think about how much freedom and information we give out to people. We constantly giving out our social security numbers. When you go to the store and you want to like sign up for something, they want your address. They want your age. So we're constantly, constantly giving up our freedom all day, all day. So slavery is in the mind. Slavery is a mindset. I got a lot of people that come up to me be like, Isis, I want to be financially free like you. I want to travel the world like you, Isis. You can do it. But it got to start with your mind. I had to start with my mind first, you guys. I had to get my mind together and acknowledge that I am already free because it's my God-given right. I got to sit back in my chair. Y'all, listen. We were born into freedom. God gave us our rights. God gave us our rights. Why are we waiting on some outside force to give us our God-given rights? The moment your child is born and you get your child a birth certificate and a social security number, you are putting your child into the system, straight into the slave system. Driver's license, slave system. There's not even a law that states we need a driver's license. <laughs> That's how deep it goes. We give our freedom up, right? We give our freedom up. So slavery is in the mind. We enslave ourselves, right? A lot of people is like, Isis, I really want to become financial free, but X, Y, Z, 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 Z. 
No. If you want to become financial free, start today. Start now. What are you waiting for? The now moment is the only moment that's going to attest. Right? The now moment. When somebody calls you up, they say, hey girl. I got to switch. I got to switch. Uh, switch sides, you guys. Whoop. My bad, my bad, you guys. I had to switch sides because I got this live on and I got people walking around and they might not be dressed. But anyway, so they're like, you know, I just, um, no, when somebody calls you up and they're like, um, I want to, uh, they, you know, your friends call you up. They're like, girl, what you doing? And you be like, what you doing right now, right? It always comes back to that now. What are you doing right now? Right? What are you doing right now to quit smoking cigarettes? What are you doing right now to get that vegan diet going? What are you doing right now? Give me a second. I got to switch chairs. What are you doing right now to start your financial freedom? Right? These are things that you need to ask yourself. And let me tell you what stops us. Let me tell you our number one stopper is yourself. You stop yourself from success, from excuses and fear. You guys, fear is false evidence appearing real. You are stressed out and being scared of some stuff that hasn't even happened. How am I going to pay my rent in two months? How am I going to do this? What if this happens? What if I get scammed? What if this? What if that? What if this? What if that? What if this? What if that? What about right now? What about right now? This is what I ask you. What are you doing right now? Because let me tell you guys, being successful is not easy. It's going to take some work, baby. You're going to have to work. But let me tell you, when you put in that work, it's nothing that you cannot do in this lifetime. You guys, let me tell you, September 13th, I'm going to be in Miami and I'm going to be on a yacht. I was able to work my way up to being on a yacht with my community in Miami, you guys, in a retirement a retirement party but it's because I I practice and practice and practice every day working on myself working on my mind you guys we are a slave to our own minds if you don't know how your mind works if you don't know how your mind works you are a slave to your mind if you cannot control the way your thoughts come out you are a slave to your mind. You always hear me say, get to know how the subconscious mind works. Learn how the subconscious mind works. Learn how the mind works in general. If you don't know how the mind works, it allows anybody to come in there and plant things in your mind. It allows people to take over your mind. You guys. Whoever controls your time controls your mind. So you are enslaving your own self. It ain't no white man doing it. It ain't Trump doing it. It ain't your ex-lover doing it. It's you. <laughs> it's the song by, uh, I think it's by Most Deaf. I think it's Most Deaf. Don't quote me. But he's like, at the end of the day, it's you. At the end of the day, is you. Stop playing victim. Blaming it on everybody else. And the devil made me do it. It's the devil. The devil got me thinking about it. No, it's the devil in you. <laughs> it's, <laughs> hold on, y'all. My bad. It's just, it just baffles me, right? It's the devil in you. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's still you, right? So the moment that we become the master of our realities instead of the slaves of our realities, right? 
you will start to see a shift in your reality. Now, don't get me wrong. It's going to take some time. Let me tell y'all a background on my story real quick. Isis love wasn't Isis love before, right? Isis love wasn't all like chipper, energy popping. Like that wasn't always me. Some of you guys may have known me from four, five, six years ago. You guys, I was drinking. I was partying. I was fighting. <laughs> I was fighting. Yes, Isis love was fighting. Blacking out, drinking, all kind of stuff. My mind wasn't there. I was eating all kind of stuff. I wasn't eating good. I was eating all the McDonald's and all the fast food. My mind wasn't there. But something had to give. Something had to change. I couldn't keep making excuses, blaming it on the alcohol. Because <laughs> that's what I would do. I would blame it on the alcohol. I would wake up the next day and my friends be like, you know what you did last night? And I'm like, nah, what happened? So I would get so drunk six, six years ago that I wouldn't even know what I was doing. And so I knew I had to make a difference. I couldn't keep playing victim. I kept playing victim. I was like, well, it's the relationship that I'm in. It's the relationship. I'm not in a happy relationship. So I kept blaming stuff on the outside instead of taking accountability of my own doing. So it wasn't until I took responsibility of my life that I'm here right now with a better energy, with a successful life, with a wealthy life. Right? It takes time, family. I don't expect for you to just, with a snap of a fingers, become vegan. I don't expect from you, with a snap of a fingers, to change your thoughts from negative ones to positive ones. It's a whole chemical reaction in your brain that has to take, uh, take, um, take a new path. Right? But if you start now... Right now, on August the 19th, right now, it's going to help you out two, three, four, five years from now, right? Because success doesn't happen overnight. But you got to work your way up there. You got to try. Don't complain. Have solutions. Don't complain. Have solutions, right? Right? So I want y'all to do something real quick because y'all know I like to keep this interactive. If you guys are going to be the masters of your mind today, I just want you to put in the comment bar, I am the master of my mind. If you are the master of your mind, I want you to put in the comment bar, I choose to be the master of my mind right now. I choose to be the master of my mind right now. Not tomorrow. Not soon. Because <laughs> that one gets me right there. A lot of people like to say, soon. I'm going to do it soon. <laughs> I'm going to do it soon. <laughs> that cracks me up right there. I'll be like, what is soon? What is that? <laughs> right now. I get that. I get right now, but I don't know what soon is, right? So you have to be the master of your mind because if you are not the master of your mind, you are the slave of your mind. Nobody is enslaving you but you. Okay, I have to always repeat that. Nobody is enslaving you but you. So let me show you, let me tell you some ways on how you can get out of that enslavement, right? First off, you want to write your goals. I know some of you guys are like, goals are so boring. I have goals, but do you got the goals written down though? Do you got the goals written down on a piece of paper? Do you look at your goals every morning? Do you look at your goals before you go to sleep? 
because your goals is going to be your blueprint to success. Did y'all hear that? Let me say it again. Your goals is your blueprint to success. You guys, I wouldn't have been on that. I'm not, I wouldn't have never been on that yacht in September if I wouldn't have wrote my goals down. If I wouldn't have had my affirmations. If I wouldn't have had my vision board. If you want to lose weight, write affirmations. And write the affirmations in the present tense like it has already happened. I am so grateful right now that I am bringing in a thousand dollars extra. I am so happy and grateful right now that I have lost 10 pounds. I am so happy and grateful right now that I am now a vegan. I am so happy and grateful right now that I have stopped smoking cigarettes. I am so happy and grateful right now that I have learned how to budget my money. You have to do your affirmations as though they have already manifested. Right? So when you're writing your goals, write your goals as if they have already happened. Feel them. What does it feel like when you're a vegan? What does it feel like when you stop smoking cigarettes? What does it feel like when you start building your business? What does it feel like to be financial free? What does it feel like? Feel it. Smell it. When I knew I was going to be on that yacht, I envisioned it. I see me on a yacht. I, I feel the wind on my body. I see my outfit that I was going to have on. I see the drinks that I was going to be drinking. I see my family that I was going to be with. My community, my trade and trade nation. Stand up with y'all in the building. Yacht party, right? I see my whole family on that yacht with me. I seen us cheers and with the champagne. I seen shrimp and stuff being put in my mouth. Coconut water. I seen it. And now it's coming true. You got to see it, feel it, believe it. You got to see it, feel it, believe it. You got to see it, feel it, believe it. Yes. Turn it into a song if you have to. Right? <laughs> yes. Yes. You have the ability to make your reality the way you want to make it. Right? If you don't like your life, change it. If you don't like your job, why are you there? Don't work for money. Don't work for money. Do not work for money. Right? Learn how to have money work for you. Because right now, most of us are being slaves to money because we're going and we're working for it day in and day out. Tomorrow's Monday. Most people hate to go to work because hate Mondays because it's work. Just change your perception on it. If you don't like your job, just tell yourself, I'm only doing this right now because I know my goal is to own my own business. I know I'm only doing this job right now because I know I'm saving up to join Forex. I'm only working this job right now to be able to travel to Africa. You know, I'm just giving you some examples. If you don't like your job and you and right now you just can't quit because you don't have any else, anything else coming in, then find a reason to be happy about it. Change your perception about it, right? Change your perception about it, right? And if you really don't like your job, then you need to find ways to make residual income because you don't want to be a slave to money. It is our birthright to be abundant, okay? It is our birthright to be. It's not our birthright to get up and go to work. It's not our birthright to ask our boss, well, can, well, well, Tom, can I take a lunch break at 12 because I want to go eat with my son? You shouldn't have to ask somebody when you want to take a lunch break. You grown. You are grown. Why are you asking somebody to take a lunch break? 
Come on, family. Come on. Why are you asking somebody to take a lunch break? You're not being the controller of your, excuse me, of your reality. If you want to take a vacation and you got to ask for somebody else's permission to take a vacation, your whole life should be a vacation. Somebody, they asked me, they, they, somebody asked me, oh, how are you enjoying your, your vacation in Mexico? I said, my whole life is a vacation. My whole life is a vacation. Because I made the choice. I made the choice to take responsibility of my now moment to be in the position where I am now. Right? Let me tell you something that my mentor taught me today. Let me get my notebook, right? I want y'all to listen, right? Let me tell you what being poor, I want y'all to put this in the comment bar. Poor is passing over opportunities repeatedly, okay? Let me say this again. I want y'all to put this in the comment bar. Being poor is passing over opportunities repeatedly, right? You keep asking for an opportunity. You keep asking God for, for something different. You keep asking God to give you something where you can make money in your sleep. But when somebody come with an opportunity to help you make money in your sleep, you automatically say, it's a scam. It's a scam. <laughs> right? We think everything is a scam, right? And it's because we live in fear. We live in fear that we can't even acknowledge blessings because we're so in fear. It's a scam. It can't be right. No, Isis, it's not true. I can't make money off my cell phone, really. Can I really make money off of my cell phone doing 4X? It must be a scam. <laughs> Well, let me tell you what a scam is, right? A scam is still confused about money. <laughs> still confused about money. That's what a scam is. Let me tell you what a real scam is. A scam is asking somebody for a day off. A scam is the banks taking our money, charging us these fees. A scam is a tax refund because you thinking you getting that money back from what they took out on your paycheck, but you're not. That's a scam. A scam is the government. A Scam is your job that you're working at right now. People be like, well, ISIS, ISIS, isn't that a pyramid? Is it a pyramid scheme? Your job is a pyramid scheme. You got, you got you at the bottom, and you got your boss on top, and you got his boss on top, and you got his boss. Don't you think that's a pyramid scheme? I'll wait. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something what my mentor said. Let me tell you, Mr. Chad Thompson, right? Because to be successful, you got to hang around successful friend, people. You can't be going to your broke friends being like, hey, Isis was telling me about this Forex thing. What do you think, girl? Do you think it's a scam? She don't even, she broke herself. She living in fear herself. How are you going to ask her if it's a good opportunity when she living paycheck to paycheck herself? <laughs> I got to blink a couple times, right? Let me tell y'all. Let me tell you the acronym for being rich, right? And I want y'all to put this in the comment bar. When you're rich, rich is residual income. Create happiness. Residual 
Income creates happiness. Rich. Somebody put that in the, in the comment bar. Rich is residual income creates happiness. You guys, your bills come in residually. Every month, your bills is coming in like, like clockwork, right? So that means living paycheck to paycheck is a scam. That means living paycheck to paycheck is a scam. That means living paycheck to paycheck is a scam. Okay? Living paycheck to paycheck is not the way to go. When you have residual, like right now, I'm talking to y'all, right? I'm breathing, I'm talking, I'm laughing, I'm getting paid. Residually. When Friday come, I'm going to have a couple checks. Because I have set myself up and put systems in play where I can have residual income create my happiness. This is what it's about, you guys. Your job is the slavery. Think about it. You're building someone else's empire up. You're building somebody else's business up. You can be building your own business so that you can lead that business with your children. But you can't do that when you're going to work building somebody else. When you're going to go work at that bank, you can't leave that bank to your children because you didn't come up with the job. You're just working there. You guys, we have been trained from birth to be in the 40-40-40 scam. Right now, if you're working 9 to 5, you are a part of the 40-40-40 scam. What's the 40-40-40 scam, Isis? The 40-40-40 scam is you working for 40 hours a week for 40 years just to get back 40% of everything that you put in. Because everybody's like, I'm going to be straight. I got my pension. I got my 401k. You guys, the, the rate that the dollar is going, about time you retire, that 401k ain't going to be shit. Okay? <laughs> Let me say it like that again with my lips. <laughs> that 401k ain't going to be shit. Right? That pension is not going to be anything. We got grandmas and grandpas working at Walmart, being a Walmart greeter. <laughs> so that pension ain't doing that much. You still got grandmas working at McDonald's for about seven or eight dollars. Do you want your grandma to work at McDonald's? Do you want your family to work at these places? <laughs> do you want them to do that? No, you don't. So what are you doing right now? What are you teaching your children? Are you teaching your children? Um, Richard, make sure you go to school. Get a good grade. Make sure you go to college, get student loans so you have to pay them all back, get you a good job so that it's secure, and get married, and then teach your kids to do the same thing. You guys, it's a rat race. Doop, 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 doop. It's been passed on from generation to generation. You guys, lack is so intertwined and it's from so many generations to generations because our ancestors didn't know any better. Our parents only taught us what their parents taught us with them and what their parents taught them. It is up to us 
in this now moment to be the masters over our minds instead of the slaves of our minds. And then turn around and teach our children. Okay? Teach our children how to be wealthy. Instead of giving them allowance, instead of buying them the new Jordans, how are they learning to make their own money? We should be teaching kids. If we can take kids to church as a newborn, as a one years old and two years old and three years old, if you can take your children to church, you can be taking your children to learn about financial literacy. Right? You could be teaching your children a skill set. A skill. Teach your children a skill that they can pass down. That is why I am excited about learning Forex because Forex is a skill. Okay? I am investing in myself to learn the skill of Forex so that I can constantly continue to make money for my, for myself. I'm on my cell phone. I can't show y'all. But literally, on your cell phone. People are becoming six and seven and eight figure earners because they're learning a skill on Forex. I have to brag always about one of my community traders, Mr. Ty Waters. His daughter is eight years old and he's teaching her Forex. His other daughter is 11 and she's on the stock market. He don't never have to worry about his kids wanting anything because he's teaching them a skill. What are you teaching your children? Are you teaching them to go to school, go to work, work all day, work all day, work all day, and hope that you get a pension or a 401k? What are you teaching your children now? These are questions you have to ask yourself. So, I'm not going to make this video long. I, I, just, I just went in, but Spirit told me to come on here and give this message to you guys. Because somebody needed to hear this message today. Somebody needed to hear this message on this live right now. It's no coincidence that you have tapped inside of my frequency to get on this live and listen to this. Because you got to be a special type of person to even tap into my frequency. And so the whole fact that you are here right now, right now, listening to this live, lets me know that your ancestors are working through me to get to you. The ancestors are working through me to get to you, to let you know that you are the change in your lineage. Each and every one of you on this live is the change for your lineage, for your legacy. We like to call ourselves gods and goddesses and kings and queens. But what are you doing to build your empire? If you a god, if you a, ki a king and a queen, queens, kings, what are you doing to build your, your empire? Because if you're sitting on debt and you're not making your money multiply for you and you're not saving assets and gold and silver, then are you really a king? Are you really a queen? Are you really? You can't say that you are a queen or a king and you haven't even started building your uh, empire. You can't say you're a king or a queen with a slave mentality. You guys, if $200 is too much for you to learn a skill of Forex, or if $200 is too much for you in general, that's a problem. That's a real big problem, you guys. If $200 is too much for you to invest into yourself, that's a problem. $200? Think about the rate that we're moving, technology, everything is speeding up. 
Minimum wage even has to go up. You guys, a thousand dollars is nothing now. To have a thousand dollars is nothing. But some people don't even have a thousand dollars in a bank account. Most people only have a thousand dollars when tax time comes. And that's just ridiculous. So if $200 is too much for you, you really need to start trading Forex. Dead serious. Right? Because $200 can't be too much for you. Like, wow. That's a serious issue. That's a serious issue, community. If $200 is too much for you to invest in yourself, if you don't have $200 to invest in yourself, that's a problem. Because, like I said, the way this planet is moving, $100 is nothing. I mean, damn, these cell phones is about $1,000 for a cell phone. Y'all remember when we had that flip phone? <laughs> we had that flip phone. That flip phone won't nothing. Right? The flip phone won't nothing back in the day. But time is speeding up. You got to get with the times. Right? More and more people are working online, working from their houses. Guys, if you are not working from your house, I'm, I'm afraid for you. I'm afraid for you if you are not having your own business and you're working at home. Because jobs are phasing out. Jobs are phasing out. Jobs are phasing out. It's this, it's this German bank. I can't think of the name of it, but I seen it on the news about a month ago. They let go of a thousand people. A thousand people got laid off on their jobs. Nobody can lay you off of your home-based business. Nobody can take your business away from you but you. But working for somebody? That's no guarantee, baby. Working for somebody is no guarantee. So if you are not learning how to work from yourself, let me tell you guys, networking is the most powerful, powerful is form of bringing in worth. Your net work is your net worth. If you guys can put, put that in the comment, in the chat, your net work is your net worth. Some of you guys got 2000 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 people on Facebook. And for what? Just to look cute? You don't even talk to half of them people on your Facebook page. Why are they on your Facebook page if they are not contributing to your next work? I'm going to make sure people on my Facebook is going to be joining in with me with this community wealth. I'm going to make sure that people on my Facebook is signing up and being business partners with me. Because the only way we're going to really do this thing is if we come together. So start figuring out how you can create a business. If you don't know how to create a business and you just like, look, Isis, I'm just done. Show me how to create a business. I'm ready. I'm coachable. I'm ready. I'm ready to travel the world like you. I'm ready to make money on my cell phone like you. Hit me up. But I'm going to tell you one thing. You're going to have to be ready, baby. You're going to have to be coachable. You're going to have to be ready. Okay? So, um, I just want to go through real quick and uh, take some questions. Like, I see a lot of stuff popping up, and I never really get to take any questions or anything. So, does anybody have any questions? I would like to do that. I want this to be intimate. Would anybody like to come on the camera and talk? Anybody want to, anybody have any questions? Anybody want to share their personal experience? Um, anybody from Trade Nation that's trading Forex? Y'all want to come on here and let the people know how Forex has changed your life? Let me know, because if not, I'm going to go ahead and end this live. I'm kind of loud. My sweetie is upstairs sleeping. I'm just in here loud, running my mouth. But I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just super excited, you guys. Like, wow. <clears throat> so many things are expanding, you know, here on planet Earth. And you got to really get your energy together and really, like, stop enslaving yourself. So, I don't see any, um... 
questions or anything right now so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video you guys but if you're watching this live just comment live in the comment bar oh excuse me i need some water and just let me know where are you watching live from if you are watching this on a replay just let me know that you're watching on the replay just comment replay and let me know where you are tuning in from because you guys i'm about to go on tour right i'm gonna be in tennessee i'm gonna be in florida i'm gonna be in georgia then i'm going to north carolina and then i'll be in cali and then i'll be in texas and i'll be back in mexico so i'm about to be on tour for a while and I would love to meet some of you guys. I would love to meet some of my Facebook friends, right? So I'm going to be on tour. I'm going to be teaching people how to grow their money because we are taught how to work for money. But nobody set us down and told us how to make money work for us. How do we grow money, right? Money is currency. It must flow. Cash flow. Currency. You see currency, like the sea, it flows, it goes, right? So I'm gonna be in each and every one of you guys' area. I'm gonna be teaching everybody how to grow their money and how to make money in their sleep. And it, it's not as far-fetched as you may think it is, right? So live in AT. Yes, okay, living at ATL. I'm definitely gonna get up with you. So um hey, I love you guys. I've been talking enough. It's hot. <laughs> um, I love each and every one of you guys. You know, thank you so much for being supportive. You know, thank you so much for sharing the videos, getting the word out to the community. Oh, I gotta say one more thing. Hey, you guys, look, one more thing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't get off this live yet. Look, so I have created a, um, a, a book club. I created a Facebook group and it's called uh, Leaders Are Readers. And so I'm going to be launching this book club uh, September 1st. We're all going to be reading a book as a community. Um, reading is so important, you guys. If you want to be successful, you need to read. You need to start reading books, right? Because we spend so much time reading um I mean, watching TV, that's part of the reason why our mind is enslaved because we're watching TV programs that's programming our mind. So I have this book club, right? And I have a contest. And you can have a chance to win a complimentary trip to Vegas in a resort. So you get to stay in the resort in Vegas. Only thing you got to do is pay for taxes and the, and the taxes and the airfare. But other than that, you have a four people can come with you. So it'll be you, your spouse, and two kids, right? You, your spouse, and two kids. So I'm going to leave the link for the contest in the book club in the comment bar. Click on it. Read the directions. It's going to tell you what to do. But don't miss out because the contest, is, the contest started yesterday and it's over with on the 28th. So you don't want to miss a chance of going to Vegas, you guys. I'm giving this to you guys. I love you. Peace, love, and light. This is your girl, Isis Love. Tune in out.